Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's do a little bit more Star Wars Unlimited, shall we? And we're going to be trying some decks that we've looked at before, but not against each other, which is the Boba Fett Green Midrange deck versus the Palpatine Green Control deck. And it's a nice match for both to see if Boba can, uh, you know, beat the control fast enough and if the control can fend off the midrange. So uh, we rolled and Boba gets to go first. And looking at this hand, uh, I already mulliganed once for both because they didn't have any two drops. Now they do. And we're going to then go ahead and say, what do we want to do here? I don't think we need no good for me uh, to me dead at the beginning. And I don't think we worry too much about having that particular two drop there, unless we want to race, which we actually might. So I think we will resource these two expensive cards, knowing that this is a control matchup. And Boba will go ahead and just drop that smuggler. Now over here, for Palpatine. Um, Palp will definitely resource this six drop and probably resource a rook because it's just so slow and then go ahead and throw out the viper probe droid this will allow us to look at boba's hand and get some information and we would see that you know things like boba fett are in the hand and it's scary and then on this end there is nothing for the boba to do so they'll take the initiative and Palpatine can't do anything either, so we pass. And we draw two. Ooh, we got a super laser tech. That's going to be unbelievably useful. Relentless is here and is hilarious, but it's too early. So we will resource that and ready up Palpatine. Now it is Boba's turn. Boba will draw two. And also a super laser tech. And, you know, it's a good question of, like, do you want to ramp against the control... Or do you want to just try to go as fast as possible? We also have a resupply. Hmm. 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 I think. Uh, we'll first of all we'll resource this, I believe, and wake up. And I think we actually play the. The super laser tech so i could attack the probe droid but it seems pretty useless to do that so we'll just attack the base and then palp uh, without question we'll just drop the super laser tech And right behind, Boba will do the same thing. Also drop a, a laser tech. And then now Palp has a choice to attack or to take the initiative. Honestly, I think Palp just takes the initiative. This has a shield, oh, which I should put on there so that we can, you know, more visibly see that. All right, and then we'll go back, and Palp took the initiative, and then Boba will pass, so it's a new turn. So Palp will draw two, and, well, double traitorous, which is sweet. This is going to be really, really useful if we keep the initiative to restore. If Palp tries to race us, we'll get rid of one of these. That's fine. Honestly, we can do something really, really sneaky. Which would be try to, to traitorous their um, super laser tech. And then kill it so that it goes into play under your control. 
uh, which is how that works, I believe. I would get the resource or whoever controls it. But in this case, um, we'll probably be saving this to take control of like a Boba Fett or something like that. But for now, we've resourced and we'll put that down. I think what we do here... You know what? I th I forgot that this was a 3-2. I think Boba probably would have um, popped the shield and killed this. Just for board control. So... I'm going to run the super laser tech into the crafty smuggler right away. And it comes into play ready. And then now it is Boba's turn. Another Boba. Okay. Um... We resource a boba ready because it's a unique unit and then oh uh, boy what do i want to do here we could have a big um Actually, yeah, if I play Resupply, I get to play Boba right away, which is pretty good. So I think we do that. We just kind of play Resupply like this. And then it's Palp's turn. And Palp is like, hmm, okay. I still think we play this instead of a cell block guard. And then Boba is going to... The enemy units left play while Boba was exhausted. Or while Boba's resources were ready, so Boba doesn't get to do that. But we, we'll flip. And we will get to ready resources with Boba. So then what happens is Palpatine is like, hmm, this is a little bit alarming. Um, I'm going to seize the initiative. I don't have a two-play. So Boba can go. And Boba says, okay, I will attack the base. And it says, when this unit completes an attack... If an enemy unit left play this phase, ready up to two resources. One, two. Because an enemy unit did leave play, it was the super laser tech. This counts as leaving play. It's, um, it flipped over, basically. I'm pretty sure that, I mean, yeah, it counts as leaving the arena. Um, and then... I think if we play this in space, we can contend with this. I don't think there's a need to play Boba Fett right now. I think we want to just kind of get space locked up. And then we'll hit the base for two. So a pretty scary turn. Draw two. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Very good resupply there. We will resource uh, Mahdi. Ready everything. Just going to set Boba up properly. Draw two. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, I think Bosk is exactly what we're looking for. I don't think we need the Shore Trooper. We can just flip this guy. And ready up. 
So we're kind of in a bad way trying to deal with their board, but we can instead just sort of ignore it if I just traitorous this. So we're going to do that. And uh, we'll play traitorous right here. Now I could treat, you know, gosh. It's just to protect this. I could traitorous this and be really sneaky, try to get resources down, kill this, get the extra help, and then play resupply to get palp on the board faster. It's really, really tempting. But I think this is better. Uh, because we could do damage to their base and just patrol the skies and then restore two. We'll see. We'll see if that was the right play. Okay. So over here... Um, Do we play Bosk or... No, I think we play the Spacer. So we can play the Spacer. And it says, when played, if you control another yellow unit, which we do, exhaust an enemy that costs four or less. So we'll just go ahead and exhaust that. And then Palpatine says, okay, I see what you did. Um, I'm going to attack this and kill it and then the shield goes away okay or not there and then um boba says all right i'm gonna go ahead and play boba we're just kind of going nice and slow over here and then Palpatine has a choice. Not really. Palpatine really doesn't have a choice in what I'm talking about. We just seize the initiative. <laughs> it's not good. It's not looking good. So Boba then will... Um, put six into the base and be done okay mm, I think we just resource Greedo ready up and Palpatine is back here Okay, so this is nice, but we don't have an officer. So without an officer, uh, we run into some issues. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So this would be Sentinel, though, because I do have six or more. So I think we'll just... I think we can just get rid of this resupply. No, no, no. I might want to play it. All right, we'll do that. And then it's our turn over here. You can play Homestead Militia. Like so. And these Sentinel Reminder Tokens, uh, you can, oh boy, use if you want. And, oops, that should be flipped. I think we just... Yeah, I forgot to read the resources, but we don't even need to. Yeah. 
He's played five. Summon Bosk. He has ambush. He comes in. Kills this guy. Oh boy. I did not mean to do that. Okay. So neither player has used the energy conversion lab. But there's nobody over here. It's such a weird situation. I don't know if I want to launch something in, you know, just play something and launch it out there. I don't think so. I don't think there's any need to do that. I think we can just go ahead and uh, play just a cell block guard down like that. And then the question is, um, you know, Boba has the crafty smuggler that it could play. But I think probably what do we do? I think we just kill this with the Boba leader. Nah, nah. I think I think the Boba leader is the most powerful. Because it's harder to get rid of leader units than it is regular units. You can't traitorous it, for example. So we'll just clean this out here. Put three right there. And then um, Palp doesn't have anything left to do with this view. So I think we just attack and restore two. And then now it's going to be, you know... Two, three, four, and would well seize. And I think we just play this to get more stuff on the board. You're not worried there's not blue, so there's no like board wipe. Okay, and then we draw two. Well, now we actually do have a uh, official. So in this situation, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, we flip. This is actually a good turn. Uh, Palpatine has survived this long because we just play. We resource this, and we have enough. Um, not only to play everything in our hand, but to just flip Palpatine and take something. We could just take Boba Fett right here, um, or Bosk or something, which is pretty tempting. Just to do that immediately. And so Boba's drawing two. Okay, and we're ready. I think, I mean, in this spot... I don't have an event to trigger Bosk, and this is the bigger threat, so I think we take this. Ah, Bosk has more damage. Un uh, can do more damage. Like, so then, what, they run... Either way, they're going to run the opposite into it, or the super laser tech. But it, it causes them to have to do that. Yeah, I think we just flip this. And we take this. And Boba says, that's not cool. We're probably going to energy conversion lab this thing into that and take it down. All right, so we should just swing the super laser tech into this so we can get the payoff finally. <laughs> oh, this actually goes over here and then this flips and is ready. 
and then palp um oh you know what palp is an official derp so there you go now this is kind of cool because we can play Madi and kill him to like ready Palpatine again if we want to clean out the board and that's a great combo. So I think what we should do is excuse me uh, play the guard to cause them to kind of have to attack into this. and insulate Palpatine so we can choose how we use him. And then... I'm going to Energy Conversion Lab. And this gets a shield, and it blows up this, and loses the shield. Palpus like, okay. Um, do I want to ECL? I don't think I need to right now. Let me just kill Boba. And there's no way we cannot surprise strike yet. I want to surprise strike here and do seven and kill Palpatine, but there's the darn guard in the way. So I think we just kill the guard with Boba. And, um,. An enemy unit did leave play, so we can ready two resources. Not like it does anything, but it's the correct play. And then this guy gets three damage. Oh, no, wait, never mind. He doesn't... I did that wrong. No, no, no. Um, it doesn't kill him. I think I would do it in a different order then. That's right, he's 3-5 because he gets plus zero plus one if Palpatine's on our side, so... We'll swing in and just do two damage right here. Soften it up. Oh boy, not that. Okay. And then... I think Palpatine's going to stabilize easily right here. This player is out of cards. This is the problem with... I should have maybe played the the Boba deck faster, but if you're playing mid-range against control, it can be so brutal if they stabilize, and this there's plenty of room left. <laughs> Honestly, um... This is exhausted. Um, I'm going to play another guard, I think, here. It won't, unless I energy conversion lab Madi, which I actually might, I won't be able to have him die this turn, but it's not the end of the world. Goes over to Boba. We gotta finish this one. We have to get these out of here. And I think then I actually would do this just so I can kill Boba this turn. 
is I would ECL Mahdi and just put the damage right there into this guy. Mahdi dies, we ready this unit. Oh, no, no, no. Right, right. Okay, let me go back in time. It would be, this would be a different board. So what's going to actually happen is um, Boba's going to have put his damage into this guy. Because I forgot that what Boba would have done is use Surprise Strike to have this guy kill one straight up. And then now Mahdi comes over, does his thing, and it's Boba's turn in this board state. And Boba will just seize the initiative. If you get if, if that gets a fire spray, it becomes complicated again. It's not like it's a, a done deal by any means. So then Palp will swing and remove this. And then probably just attack and, and trade right here and just clean the sky up. And that is correct. Okay. So now it looks one-sided, but it's still really anybody's game. And Boba's going to draw two. And okay. Well, um, not great. Boba really needed something like a fire spray or uh, something insane right there. That's This is good, but this, you know, it doesn't help. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah, I think, um, I mean, oh, you know, I kind of forgot to palp when he flips. This is just me getting more practice, understanding it. He can do this on the tech. So we could play super laser tech and then just use this to, to ping and draw cards and stuff, which is actually pretty sweet. So we'll go back over to Boba. It's Boba's turn. Uh, I should probably um, just remind myself that the leader has been played. And I don't know if we actually waylay that. I think we might waylay our own dude. And then overwhelming barrage him with the shield on. It's it's not great. Like I I guess I could try to waylay something, just hold it for what they drop. Um, what I can do though, actually, is we just do it right here. We'll just play overwhelming barrage right now, and then um, we, you know, put just a reminder token of of a two on here, and then we get to deal. Four damage however we choose so two damage kills this guy and then two damage to palp four does not kill palp so we just kind of slide it like that and then this guy is a four three at the moment and so palp is kind of like all right you have a four three which i could still gobble and it wouldn't eat me oh this did it's it's still ready Hmm. Do I kill it out of concern for what's behind, or do I just play a super laser tech? I think I just remove it. It's it's a hefty one to hit, you know. Um But it's dead. And then now Boba is like, um, do I want to waylay? Probably. So what we'll do is we'll pass. 
and then Boba will say, okay, fine. Um, I'm going to play Super Laser Tech like that. And I think Boba would just waylay just as a means of slowing the game down. And not losing next turn, perhaps. Because it's looking grim. And then Palp cast this again, sees the initiative, of course, before that. So um, at this point, uh, by attacking first... I don't get to use that ability, but I just wanted to get that guy off the board. I was a little wary of that. Okay, so then it's Boba's turn again. Boba took no damage to the base. Oh, oh, we're drawing bad with Boba now. Sorry, Boba. Super laser. These are not the high value cards you need in a control matchup. So at this point, you know, Palp draws two. Um, yeah, and gets something insane like this. Um, this, it doesn't trigger on that, but it's just so cruel. So what I'll actually do is just, I don't have any troopers, so I need to play him after we play Callus. So I will attack with Palpatine at the base. And then, even though I haven't attacked with this guy, I will, I'm not resourcing anything, and neither side is. And I will kill my guy to kill that. Just get it out of here. Oh, but it, I mean, I'm not resourcing anything. Yes, I am. And so Fed is kind of like, well, you're right. Um, we will pass. We'll pretend like we have something in our hand. And then what we do is we just go one, two, three, four, five. We're not afraid anymore. We'll put Callus down. He's not going to do anything. I could have just played Callus to kill. Which I probably should have done. I don't know. Oh, I get to draw a card, though, when I use Palpatine's ability. Ah. Even better. How about that? I would play Ruck instead of Callus right there. He's not a trooper, so Taggy doesn't work. But this guy we could play as a surprise. And then... Um, I think Boba passes again. We play a super laser, like so. And then Boba claims, and it's over. And we'll just draw two. Yeah, it, it looks so horrible for Boba, but Boba has kind of managed to just sit here. That's not going to do it. It's not going to do it. Um, we'll definitely waylay uh, Rook so he's not patrolling. And then Palpatine's like, all right, all right. You did that. So what we do is we play Mahdi so that we can kill him when Palp attacks and ready Palp again. And I guess we play this up here and then mm, this is when it's going to be really bad for Boba Fett okay so Palpatine will attack and do four and then we'll kill Mahdi who can do a damage to get rid of the shield and uh, draw a card oh boy and then this Boba will just be passing. Um, this is kind of overkill to just get rid of this. But 
you know, we could do it that way. I don't think we play this. I think we keep this as a surprise. I'll attack with the super laser tech for two. Pass for Boba. Attack uh, up here. And then we kill. Is this once per turn? No, it's whenever. So we'll draw a card. We'll put a damage on this guy. Um, hey, look at that. I think we just play Callus, even without the ambush. They'll claim, and then we play Taggy. And we'll give an experience token to Callus. I think it's untenable. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's definitely untenable at this point for uh, Boba Fett. Boba Fett would have to come up with something that you know dealt the appropriate damage there's the fire spray so you know we can play this which we would have to to threaten and then um you know palpatine is just like all right I could play Devastator and just kill it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I needed to resource something. Okay, fine. We'll have resourced that. Hmm. We play this, blow that up, or I have lethal right there with Callus. So Callus will attack for five, and that's game. So this game was pretty much over when Palp stabilized. Boba had a chance, but just drew really poor early game stuff against Palpatine and could never really get running again. So, a fun one. A good game. And um, I'm really liking both of these decks. Everyone, I hope you're still finding this series to be useful and fun. Remember, I'm learning and we're learning together. If you've got pointers, things that you noticed during the game that you want to clarify, other paths or plans that we could have deployed here i'd love to hear about it as i try to learn and enjoy this game um, as i teach it as well thank you so much everyone for watching take care